In this example, we are creating a microservice server. This microservice server will receive a request with a couple of inters and will send a response with the sum of them. First of all, we are creating a microros node named MyRunessas node. Then we are creating a service with the default QRSS. This server will listen to the topic at two ints and will use the type at two ints. Finally, we create the executor and add the service server to the executor, setting here the service code. Then we spin the executor forever. If we check the service callback, we can see that we are simulating a heavy processing that turns on each led in the development board and have some sleep periods. Then we just sum the two integers in the request and set the response properly. Then we turn off all the LEDs. Now we are going to see how this microservice server works in our Greenessas development board. First of all, we have the development board connected to the microservice agent through a USB transport. We just click on the back button and the application is loaded in the board. Then we click on the run button and we can see how the microservice client is connecting to the microservice agent. Now we can list how many ROS2 services have available in the ROS2 data space. Here we can see the add to int service created by the MicroRos application that uses the type add to ints. Now we are going to prepare a service call to this service. When we launch the kelp service call, we can see that the LEDs are turned on one by one and the service server responds the sum of the two numbers. We can do it again to check the functionality. 